moment. But right now we begin with meteorologist Todd Howell. Hello to you. Hey guys. All right, uh, you want me to go first? Am I doing mine first? Actually, I think I'm going to I'm going to go first. I was it's thinking okay. it was Beth. Okay. Beth yeah. go. All right, go ahead. Beth. What do you, what do you have? Well, yeah. I have something called a whipped strawberry milk. Now, the reason we're doing this, it's hot outside, Labor Day is coming up, so we wanted to come up with some creative drink ideas, family friendly, that everyone can enjoy, adults down to the kids. Um, and this one's called whipped strawberry milk. Again, we got these from um, delicious.com. So my recipe, and the reason I'm going first, it may take me a minute to get the heavy cream to form peaks, but you add, uh, basically real simple, you need a fourth a cup of heavy cream, one tablespoon strawberry milk powder, ice, and milk. We have all that, um, and really all that's required is to pour the heavy cream into a mixing bowl, like that. And then we're gonna add a tablespoon of strawberry powder. My youngest loves this stuff. Um, uh oh, this is a teaspoon. Well, we'll just improvise. That looks like a tablespoon. Maybe too much, but that's okay. And then you just whisk it together and it's going to form peaks. Now, I don't know how long this takes, so feel free to jump in, Todd, with your drink. I'm just going to keep whisking. And hmm. then um, before I do that, though, I'm going to fill this glass three fourths full of okay. milk. What is yours called again? <laughs> It's a strawberry, whipped strawberry milk. Oh. That one I've never heard Whip of. Have it? you heard of that, Todd? I have not. Okay, so but I'm almost done. It sounds delicious, actually. I'm just waiting for this to peak. Okay, now meanwhile, what's going on with you and a golf ball over there? I've got a golf ball, thanks to Russell Bibb and my good Yeah, friend. I was playing Thank down a local so course that just... ended up up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little, little prop here. Hey, I'm just removed from the Weather Center, and uh, we're talking about... An Arnold Palmer, yeah, making the, hopefully making the perfect Arnold Palmer, and uh, it's a traditional half tea and half lemonade mixture, and it's named after, of course, the golfer who loved it so much. Now, we admit, we, we, we cheated, uh, skimped just a little bit. What we did, uh, we, uh, we got the uh, store-bought lemonade, right? And uh, also we have uh, the tea that uh, we got, and, but we infused it with honey. We've already done that, so we prepped that ahead of time. So uh, delish.com advises you to make the lemonade fresh, and we modified that just a little bit. So you want me to go ahead and do it? All right, let's put the golf ball down right there. So what we're going to do, we got a picture here. We're gonna, it's half and half. When I go to one of my favorite uh, restaurant establishments, <laughs> that, uh, anyway, that uh, I just tell them Arnold Palmer and they know what to do. Okay, so there you go. We're just gonna do, I'm gonna just do about a half and half mixture. Just kind of eyeballing it here a little bit. That's good right there. And then that, this is, that's the lemonade. Again, freshly squeezed lemonade, highly recommend that. That makes it even better. And then we're gonna do, again, tea. And this has already been infused with honey. And uh, we heated the tea up on the stove and then added a third a cup of honey to the mix. So heated the tea up on the stove, a third a cup of honey to the mix. It infuses it, gives it that extra special flavor. And this is unsweet tea. If you really want it to be sweet, I guess you could uh, have sweet tea, right? So we're just gonna look at the color. <laughs> kind of wanna get that right there. That's it. Uh, and my favorite restaurant establishment uh, does it perfect every time. Okay, then we're gonna we're gonna stir that. Thank you, Eric. Now, uh, again, so we combine the tea and the lemonade in the pitcher. Now we're just simply gonna pour over ice, pre-made here. Is, are you salivating yet? Yes. Okay. Or something like that. Let All me right. get this straight. Beth yeah. gets a liquid milk foam milkshake or whatever hey, you're she's drinking making. drinking it, buddy. Todd gets an Arnold Palmer. Yes. And, and I get to get make a, a Shirley, Shirley Temple. Temple. All right. Hey, real quick, you're going to garnish it with some mint and, uh, <laughs> and the lemon right there. Just, just going to garnish it. Which I'm sure your favorite establishment does that as well, right? So while you start, I'm just going to add this strawberry top. Oh, thank you, Beth, for letting me know. Yeah, you're welcome. We're going to just keep on garnishing. But it, let, me, let me taste it and see if that's about right. You've never used the word garnish in your life. No. Okay, I'm going to be honest. This that just looks like is milk with strawberry... Wow. Plump on top, but here we go. 
I bet when it settles down, it's good. That is very good. Sure maybe is. maybe like two less mint, but that's very good. I think I would try this with ice cream. <laughs> maybe three, but that's really good. Okay, I'm going to make a Shirley Temple, everybody. <laughs> Go for that's it, Russell. That's the job they gave me, Foxy. Seriously, Leanne. Okay, so you get uh, some lemon, lemon lime soda. Okay, lemon lime soda. Go about halfway up on the cup on that thing. Well, oh, now, that's a little more than halfway, but that's okay. Um, and then you, you're supposed to get lemon lime, or excuse me, a, a one lime juice. We actually use in lemon. We, we like to add lib on some of these. So this is just uh, one lemon right there. All right, now. This is called uh, grenadine. It has no alcohol in it, just so everybody knows. But this is what you put in it. Because some people think you put cherry in these things, but actually you don't as far as this is concerned. So uh, let's see. How I want to make sure I do this. Oh, a teaspoon of this. Just a splash. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Then you go in here if you have a cherry or two, and you toss those babies in there. And that is a Shirley Temple. Now, isn't that beautiful? Now, my father, who passed away, he and I were close as could be. He liked Roy Rogers drinks. I never knew what a Roy Rogers was. Our producer says, if you do this without the lemon lime and use like a, a, a Coke or a Pepsi or something, that's a Roy Rogers. How about Did you know it? that? I didn't know that. No. How about that? But he always liked to make Roy Rogers, he said, when he was a kid. So, How about that? all you Shirley Temple fans out there, and then here's mine. Mm. Again, I would do this with some ice cream. Vanilla That's ice good. cream. I think it'd be a really good shake. Well, yeah, they, they're, they're all get looking good. And it's a good day for it, too, isn't mm. it, Todd? Oh, it's it, absolutely. I, I love my garnished lemon and mint and tea. That looks great. <laughs> I'm supposed to do weather right you now. You are, my all friend. Right. Hey, that, it really is good. Uh, Leanne Bowman, thank you so much. Leanne uh, went, did a lot of... Uh, work to get all this put, uh, to put together, and that really does taste good. Thank you so much. All right.